Everything that we do is untraceable. Think you gangster, that nigga's erasable. This bitch listen to too much Beyonce. She really thinks she irreplaceable. Two times this and they sit in symmetrical. I put a ring on my niggas, no marriage. Just muscle like we winning every year Super Bowl. What's up, y'all? Been a little minute. Been a little, been a little, little bit time, but it's I finally got a little like a little free time sit down and tell a story for real instead of telling it on stream because I get distracted and again it feel more personal when I just be talking to y'all niggas like YouTube directly like you feel me ain't nobody see it first it's the first time niggas hearing it even though this June you might have heard it on TikTok but I'm going to break it down like I'm really about to break this bitch down all the way yeah <laughs> yeah but look here brother <laughs> look here brother I have some goals for us to reach right here. <laughs> but hey, bro, look, we are at 2,289. It is March. It was basically March 11th. Bro, by the end of March, we need to be at 3,000, bro. We're going to do it because I'm going to drop. I swear, bro, I've been off. I haven't been dropping consistently. But I got y'all, bro. I'm in my duffel. Chill. I'm not even going to say too much about that. And then Twitch, if you do not know. We had to make a new Twitch because they was on nuts. It was meat munching, bro. Like, for real, for real. So, this is the new Twitch, Jeb for l with 2Js. Make sure y'all... We try and get that to five... Let's say 500 for the month. Mm, no, let's just say... Let's keep it cool. Let's say 350 for the month over. All right? But, uh... Yeah. All right, but look. This is the time... I don't even know how to explain this for real. I'm beyond... I don't know how to explain this shit because it's like... It was a little beef. It was, it was a little beef. Like, I'm a civilian. I don't got no ops. I don't have no stress for nobody. Chill. Watch out, bro. I'm trying to live and be a YouTuber, a content creator. You see me trying to do it. But it's just like, shit happens. All right? Shit be happening. All right, so look, bro. This was fifth grade going to sixth grade. So I was 11. You feel me? My parents was going away somewhere. I think they was going to Virginia or some someplace for vacation. And my sister was old enough to watch me. But I'm a, I was a stubborn little nigga. And to this day, I'm kind of stubborn. And I didn't want her telling me what the fuck to do. So I'm like, yo, I'll go stay with my grandma. You feel what I'm saying? I have no problem with that. My grandma stayed down north. You feel me? And my aunt stayed with her. So I'm like, shit, that's cool. I fuck with them. Those my folks. Now, my other grandma lived two doors down from us. But she be wildin'. And for all that, I might as well stay with my sister. And I wasn't doing either, either of those options. You feel me? So I'm down there, I get down there, I'm chilling. Like, I just was in the crib for the first day. Like, I wasn't doing nothing. Still had my Kindle Fire. I had a weak-ass LG phone. The shit was trash. Couldn't text no hoes. I wasn't getting no hoes anyway. Damn. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, I'm just in the crib chilling, like, the whole day. And then my aunt, she like, yo, tomorrow you need to go outside, take a walk, do something. But you can't just be sitting up in the crib all day or I'm going to have you doing chores. I know you don't want to do that shit. I'm staying for the weekend. I'm like, fuck type weird shit she on. Philly is a dangerous place. Now, the violence, bro. Before quarantine, Philly been a violent place. All right, it's always been shit going on. But it's like during quarantine, I feel like niggas just was in the crib getting angrier, bro. Like getting more evil. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. But you feel me? This is before. This is back when niggas could rumble. And it didn't always end up in the shootout. You know what I'm saying? Or just somebody getting shot in general. So this is like, you feel me? But I, I'm like, yo, I'm in North. Like, I'm like, I'm in North. I'm not trying to really go outside like that. This is not my hood. I don't know niggas. I don't want to be around niggas. I don't like niggas. That's it. I don't like niggas. I don't. I'm be real, bro. I just don't. I don't want to be around y'all. That's it. But I'm like, you know what? Cool. It's her house. I'm staying where? I asked to stay where it's not like I was forced. So I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I'll respect I'll respect her wishes. Fast forward, it's the next day. I decided to go to the park because I might as well because the park is right across. Like when I tell you right across the street from my grandma's crib, it's right there. So I go through the gate because it's, it's not no, bro, this shit was so ghetto. It's no really entry. You got to go all the way around to get into the park, bro. And right across is this little hole you could go through. You could squeeze through in the, in the fence and then you in the park. So I do that. It's a field. It's like a baseball, football field combination. One of them ugly joints. The the Oakland Raiders looking joint, bro. Shit was ugly. Bro, I'm just walking around there. I'm like, man, ain't shit to do. Now I go to the swing set to the actual play stuff. 
his girls. I'm talking to them a little bit, but they was they was ratchet. Like they was ghetto. I ain't I ain't the type boy to like talk down, but like it was ghetto. She had neon green braids and then like a lightning yellow joint and then like her hair, like her hair was frizzy up here, you feel me? Like just they hair wasn't done, they whoops were so chapped, they hands, they fingernails were so dirty. I'm looking at all that, but I'm like, damn, this is kind of the trench though. So it's like what I expect. But the face, I remember this one joint, bro. Her name was Destiny Aaliyah. Destiny Aaliyah. I won't forget that, bro. Because she kept saying, I'm Destiny Aaliyah. I'm Destiny Aaliyah. I'm Destiny Aaliyah. I'm like, okay. Bro, she was she was decent. She was kind of ghetto too, but she was decent. I remember her. But then I go over to the ball court. It's the old heads playing some shitty ass game. It looked trash. I don't remember, like, for real. But then it was niggas my age playing. But they needed one more. This is where I come into play. You feel me? Now, originally, I was on the sideline watching, minding my business, bro, with my weak-ass LG phone on Instagram, looking at this one girl I had a crush on that would never like me. Yes, I was doing that. But they like, yo, we need one more. We need one more. We need one more. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't play ball. I'm, I'm trash, bro. They, it don't matter. It's just we just need a body. I'm like, all right, cool. So I get on the court. You feel me? We playing or whatever. I'm doing all right. My defense always been good. Don't get that twisted. My defense always been good. And that's one thing, bro. People that don't play ball, they defense be immaculate. They be, it be immaculate. I could lock anybody down. I feel like, nah, I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say, I, about to say I could lock down Steph Curry or Kyrie or Ron Bullshit. Oh, we playing this shit. Game with the 21. It was a long ass game. They had like 15. We was down by like seven. You do the math. What is that? Eight? I don't fucking know. Bro. We had like eight points, bro. Like it not it wasn't no coming back. But you feel me? It really wasn't much of a comeback. Bro, they keep scoring, they keep scoring, they keep scoring. Cause the one bull, bro. It was this one bull. His name was Jaheem. He was tough. He was tough, bro. He was like two years older than me, bro. He was like 13. Nigga had to be 6'3 at 13, bro. He was getting up. He almost dunked on the nigga. Man, and then the boy wanna get mad. He like, bro, I'm gonna get my brother to fuck you up. All this talk. That's just how it get in Philly, bro. Niggas, it really in general, bro. Men, I'm gonna be so real, bro. To any ladies watching, men can't handle embarrassment. So if you scared, if you gonna reject a man or anything like that, and you scared that he gonna do something to you, just keep it chill. You feel me? Don't be like, ew, boy, no, get away from me, cause then he might, he might hurt you, and I, I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. you feel me? Cause I love y'all. All right, all right. It get to be about 19 to 10, bro. We get the ball back. Nigga passed me the ball. I ain't gonna lie. It was a wide open layup. It was wide the fuck open. Smoke that bitch, bro. Why I tell you it was bad? <laughs> what? <laughs> that shit was bad. Let me show you everything I did. This right here. He... <laughs> I dropped that bitch. I tell y'all that shit was embarrassing, bro. That shit was embarrassing. Like, I could barely dribble. Nah, I, bro, when I tell y'all that shit was bad, that shit was horrible. I smoked that joint. Like, it was crazy. The boy that recruited me, though, the boy I told, yo, I'm not good at ball. I'm not that good, bro. You might not want to pick me up. It was other people, but you asked me. He said, oh, you were just going to be a body. He talking about, you ass, bro. You act like you really trash, bro. I don't even, I'm like, bro, I told you. He not, but no, bro, you suck. Like, he started getting angry. Like, no, bro, you suck. Like, you shouldn't even been on the court, bro. You so shitty. Uh, I'm like, bro, stop dicking, bro. I'm going to walk to get on defense. Boy, punch me in the back of my head. He punched me in the back of my head. I fall to the ground. I didn't even get a chance to get up nothing. Boy, over top of me. Boom, 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 boom. Just punching on me, bro. Whooping my fucking ass. Whooping my ass. Everybody, oh, get him. Get him, Raheem. Get him. That's not his name, but we just going to call boy Raheem. Get him, Raheem. Get him. Like, punching on me. I'm like this. I'm curled up, protecting myself. He, yeah, bro, don't come back to this court, bro. Don't come back uh, talking all this shit. If he was spat on me, no. Because if he was standing over, I'm thinking he's going to spit on me. When I tell you, I would have, bro, I would have lost my mind. Y'all would not be seeing this video today. I would have been dead or in jail. I swear, I swear, bro. After that, I just get up, walk to grandmom's house, even though it's right across the street. I'm contemplating. I'm like, damn. I got to get revenge. It's no way I could let this shit slide. It's not happening, bro. It's not. All this shit happened within the span of an hour, hour and a half. I left the crib about 2.30. I'm back in the crib by 4. 
for 15. I did go to a poppy store. I did go to a poppy store and get me a popsicle to make myself feel better. I had like 50 cent. I grabbed me a little 35 cent creamsicle joint and I went in the crib and enjoyed that motherfucker. I sure did. This shit was yummy. Scrumptious actually. But I go in the crib and then my aunt, she wasn't home from work yet, but my grandma, she upstairs. She like, Jet, that's you coming out? I was like, yeah, she what happened? I'm like, I'm just tired. She okay, she she would not come downstairs, bro. Like she barely came downstairs. So I'm sitting on the on this like chair what's it called? A love seat? Whatever fuck. I don't know what it's called, bro. I'm just sitting there looking up at the ceiling. I'm like How am I gonna fuck him up? I'm just punch on him. I'm really just gonna fuck this nigga up. Cause he snuck me. So should I kill him? Or should I just whoop his ass? Or should I just like break something? Like I'm really thinking on some punisher shit. I'm just like, yo, how am I gonna do this nigga in? Bro. Well, I tell you, I chilled for a little bit. I watched TV in the kitchen. We had this little little ass TV boxy joint watching Teen Titans go on the TV. Was it Teen Titans Go? I'm 90% sure because every time I went to my grandma's crib, even to when I was a teenager, bro, Teen Titans Go was on that TV. So I'm pretty sure Teen Titans Go was on that TV, bro. But yeah. I'm in there chilling for a little bit for a calm little two hours. So now it's about six o'clock, six fifteen. I go on my Kindle Fire. I'm researching, bro. I'm looking up boxing combinations. I'm shadow boxing in the basement, the little ass basement. I'm, like I'm really hitting some bullshit. I'm looking up Mike Tyson. I'm looking at the fight with him and uh, what's his name? Evander Holyfield, whatever cuz name is, biting ear. I'm like, shit, if I gotta bite this nigga ear off, I will. I'm ready. I'm prepared to go to war, bro. I'm looking at motivational speeches. You ever watch uh, Gladiator or whatever it's called with Mel Gibson and he doing the battle cry by going to war? Yes, that's me. That's me, bro. I was ready to, I was ready to die about this shit, bro. We're at. Next day, I go to the park around the same time. I walk straight to the court. I ain't looking at Destiny, Aaliyah, none of them grimy will. The grimy young ladies. I walk straight up to the court. I see cuz. I'm like, yo. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? He trying to be pals or something. He, yo, what's up, bro? Try to dat me. I'm like, no, bitch, run me my one. I want a fair one, bro. You gonna sneak niggas, you pussy. He say no more, bro. Take his shirt off. You know them. Bro, he had a mohawk, bro. He had a mohawk. He had a big ass head. And the, he, his neck was a little bit was strong. Too. It was like veiny as shit. Shit was weird. He throw his shit up. His shit was like this. This is his stance on some Minecraft Steve shit. I'm like, oh, I'm about to whoop him. But apparently, they was in the background dicky and his little, his little, the peanut gallery, whatever the fuck. They, yo, he boxed, bro. I don't know if you want to do that. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Throw my shit up. Here with it. Here with it. Bro, I'm thinking I'm sharp. Boom. Sock him one time. Pop him, bro. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. He start hitting me. Boom, 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 piece of me. I'm damn. But it's like, bro, it's a it's a solid fight. You feel me? I'm holding my own this time because I knew I could knuckle with him. But once they said he boxed, I'm like, damn, he might win this. Mine good. Fuck, I'm really going hard. And then once he, he had hit me one time, right, I had caught myself. I got back up. And it's like when you mad, you don't really start thinking when you fighting, bro. I started swinging some bullshit. But I was a young nigga. I know how to keep myself calm now. I don't fight, by the way. Civilian activities. Bro, I start swinging bullshit. I'm just mad as shit doing this, bro. I, I, when I tell you, hold on, watch this. I'm mad as shit swinging these crazy ass haymakers. I'm here with him. <clears throat> like, bro, I don't got no balance. <clears throat> <laughs> swinging nut shit. But y'all know haymakers take a lot of energy, so I'm tired. And I start swinging like slow. I'm. Bro, that nigga caught me slipping. Hit me with the meanest right hook. Mom! Bro, I tell you, I drop. He back over me again. Mm, 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 mm. His man's about hopping. He, no, bro, don't even hop in. Boom, boom. He starts stomping on me. Mm, mm. I'm like this. I'm curled up. I'm damn, damn, damn. Bro, the hoes, Destiny Aaliyah watching me. She's standing over me, shaking her head. She just. Mm, mm, mm. With her fake, her fake bougie ass. I get up. Go straight to the house. Straight to the house. When I tell you everything, I felt like YNW Melly. I'm just straight. He got to go. He can't be on this planet no more, bro. That's my mindset. Now I'm just like locked in. You know how Naruto was so set on becoming the Hokage? I'm so set on this nigga not... He's just not... He can't be on the same planet as me. He whooped me back to back days. The first joint, it would have been cool. It was just like, all right, yeah, this nigga like... You feel me? He just, he snuck me. And he whooped my ass. And I went back and I beat him. No, he beat me again. 
same spot on the court stomping on me. It's just, it was embarrassing. The same set of niggas seen it was more people the next day. This was a Friday and it was a Saturday. It was just like, bro, oh my God. Boom, next day, Sunday. It's my last day being at my grandma's house, bro. And this one nigga from the neighborhood, I knew he lived like behind, like on the back street. Like it's it's the front street, back street. That y'all know how that shit go. He was a crash out. He was some dirty little nigga, but we was cool. You feel me? We would play, throw the football around, just chill sometimes. Cause my grandma had this big ass yard on the side of her house. We would just be wrestling, pause, like you feel me, just be chilling back there. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, bro, slide with me. We gonna we gonna jump this nigga. He just down. He just all right. What he look like? All right. I'm gonna swing first. All right, bro. You want to shoot him? It's just like, damn, bro. Relax. Chill. <laughs> it was not that serious. So we go to the court. We walk up. He, what you want, bitch? Did I tell you not to come back, bro. Socked him. Just socked him off the rip. I threw, I threw the hardest joint ever. The hardest joint ever. I came back here with it. Twisted, mom. I was happy as shit. Mom, he stumbled a little bit. He about to catch himself. My man's. My man's the nigga. I'm going to just call him Crash. Bro, Crash come up. Boom, hit him. Boom, he keep hitting him. Now I'm hitting him. Boom, boom. We <laughs> it was some hoe ass shit. I should, we shouldn't have jumped this nigga. I should have tried to get my one again. But we jumping him. We jumping him. He's strong as shit, though. This nigga was like a mini Mike Tyson, bro. I think he played football, too. He boxed. He played football. Nigga did everything. I hope he made it out the hood. I don't know. Shit, knowing his ass, he probably, he probably, he might. I'm not even going to say that. Bro, we jumping this nigga. The ball, the ball crash. Grab him. Grab his legs. Just dump him, bro. But the way he dumped, it's not a regular joint. Like, it wasn't a regular joint where he just grabbed him, slammed him, let him go. Bro, he jumped on the ground with him. He said, Mom, he jumped on the ground. <laughs> so now he over top of him. Come on, Mom. He, he, you want to punch on my man's pussy? All of us, he just talking. He get up. We stomping on this nigga. Well, he's stomping. I didn't want to stomp on nobody. I felt bad. But I'm punching him. I'm punching him. I'm punching him. Grab's like, bro, you lucky I have no knife. I will wet your ass up. I don't know. Or not wet your ass up. What the fuck he say? Poke your ass up? I don't know. Wet your ass up is from Britain. I forget what the fuck he said specifically. He said something your ass up. Pause. But yeah, that shit. Yeah. Bro, me and Crash walking away, ball in the ground, leaking. He, bro, watch when I catch y'all, yo. It's up. Y'all not going to be breathing. Your mom's going to be crying, pussy. All this. In one ear, out the other. I'm leaving today. I'm going home. You gonna have to catch Crash. No, no, no snake shit, but Crash gonna be cool, bro. His name is Crash for a reason. You feel me? I think, yeah, bro did pass away. But we fell off after his summer, so it wasn't like, it really hit me that hard, because we was really cool just for that summer, but like, you feel me? Rip, bro. But still, bro, Crash gonna be fine. So I, we not worried about cuz, because it's like, I'm not gonna be here. Crash gonna be cool. You just talking, buddy. You're not doing anything. To so, boom, my mom come pick me up. You feel me? We driving back home. She, what happened to your face? Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, oh, no, I was playing football, and we was tackling. We didn't have no home. And she like, why I tell you about that? Because we would do that on the street out here. We would be playing tackle with no, like, you feel me? Sometimes. Most of the time, it was two-hand touch, but sometimes we would play tackle depending on who came outside, bro. But look, I make it home. I'm thinking this shit over. I'm like, I win. I win, bro. I jumped him. It might have been. It, it don't really. It's not like a, a fair win. But a win is a win at the end of the day, my nigga. I won. I whooped him. He was leaking. I wasn't leaking. My face was just a little bruise. I had a few scratches. But I was cool. You feel me? It was absolutely fine. A month later, I was just down there chilling. Everybody was at my house. And I think it was about to be a cookout or something. So they was going to bring the food. I went down there like... They brought me first, and then they went back home to get the food that they was going to cook or whatever. But I'm there. I go to a poppy store to get, I think, I think I got some Skittles or something. I don't know. These niggas catch me coming out the store. It's Bull Raheem and his mans. I try to run, right? His mans on the bike. His man zoom. I'm running. He hit me like this. Imagine, bro. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. This him on the bike. Wham! I'll get popped, bro. I'm like, damn. I'm <laughs> Damn. So now I'm on the ground. He, you knew. I told you I would catch you, pussy. Boom, boom, boom. They fucking me up. Bull is like ramming the bike into me. Like he's just grabbing it, doing this. His man's throw the bike down. Now they just punching on me, punching on me. I'm like this. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, bro. They fucking me up. I never got fucked up like this in my life, bro. They kicking me in my shit. I'm like this though. But they kicking me in my hands. I got like, bro, fucked me up. He said if I catch you around here again, I might fuck around, shoot you. 
they ride off on the bike on some it was pause no nah, it's pause on they part bull was holding on to his waist damn they're sitting on the nigga lap bro like like when they rode off I, that shit was not intimidating but i was mad as fuck i get up i go in the crib i know where he live at bro i knew where he lived at so i go in the crib grab a big ass butcher knife i'm about to go out the crib my aunt grace like oh where you going with that I'm like, oh, my, my, my shoe got stuck on something, man. I was just going to cut the lace off or something. I made up some bullshit excuse. She saved me from crashing because I was prepared, bro. I was prepared to take a life that day. I was. And then I, after that, the cookout happened. Like, I wasn't that fucked up, but they really was fucking me up. Like, that shit hurt more than the other times he whooped me, bro. It hurt. So I'm just kind of sitting there on the couch. I'm like, damn. Damn, what if he really do shoot me? I go in there. I'm trying to call my cousin on the phone. And she talk about, you know he in jail. This the cousin I know really going to turn shit up. Because I'm ready to take it there. I'm like, fuck. Let me just chill then. You feel me? The cookout happened or whatever fuck was going on. I think it was somebody's birthday. It was something where we had barbecue. Bro, everybody keep trying to talk to me. You know you mad as shit. Or you got music on. Niggas keep trying to talk to you. Yo, my eyes. What the fuck going on? But they keep trying to talk to you. It's like, bro, I'm like, yo, leave me alone. I don't want to talk. Jet, how's school going? You, you think about college? I don't even know what high school I'm going to yet. I don't know what middle school I'm going to. Like, what the fuck? I do, but I don't. Like, I'm thinking about transferring. Watch out, bro. They're just asking me bullshit questions. I'm just like, Shh. I want him dead, but I'm just like, no, I don't. You feel me? Because I was just, I was just so angry. I was just an angry little nigga. And then I was over it. I was over it two months later. I get about the cool two months. I ended up going to school in North or whatever in ninth grade, bro. When I tell you, I had seen that nigga on the the train platform, bro. He looked cracked out. Like he looked like he was not his right state of mind. I'm like, yo, that's that bull. And my man's was with me. My man's, yet again, he's a crash out. Like it was a whole different bull, but he was also a crash out. But to a lesser extent, he like, bro, you wanna fuck him up? I'm like, nah, that's when we was kids, bro. It's not even that deep. But then he see me, he like, yo, Jay, yo, yo, yo. He tried to dap me up. Watch out, bro. I I just gave him a fist bump. He went way back down on his little bench. He ain't look like poor, but he looked like he was off something, bro. That's the last time I seen Bull, and that's when it officially ended for me. I'm like, damn, I got the moral victory for real, for real, because he, he like, he, he not doing that well in life, you feel me? Yeah, bro, that's the vid, you feel what I'm saying? That's the story. I gotta wrap it up here, guys. <laughs> I can't do the voice, because I'm, I'm low-key getting pissed thinking about that shit now, but, like, yeah, bro, make sure y'all like sub share and follow the twitch tuesday <laughs> tuesday but no nah, bro thanks for watching bud hope you had a great time. <laughs>